Okay, I'm at the George Aikens Wilderness. It's in the National Forest area in Vermont. And uh, I actually just drove through and walked through all the campsites except for one. But now I'm doing the mileage. I'm going to do it in real time driving to the back. And I'll point out the sites. Um, and then after that, I'll just insert clips of each one that I walked around. The one I couldn't because there is a van. So there it is, Green Mountain National Forest. Okay. I know there's only one van in there, so as long as he don't leave, I won't get nobody hit on. So we're gonna count them as I show them. First one's gonna be on the right. It's always very muddy. And the new thing that they have, they do have markers at each campground. So here's one. This is the muddy one. So that's number one. And what I'll do, I'll insert the footage after each one. And then there's three on the left that are well, kind of close to each other, but you know, you're talking pretty far. Doing this in real time, and this will be, I don't know, I don't know how long it'll be. <laughs> Beautiful fall day. Hope the sun's not coming in the lens too much. That goes to the trail that kind of runs across the place. Here's the one with the van. So there's the first one on the left. But it's number two. Here's number three. Number five, that's a big one. There was one mile exactly to that number five. Six. This one's pretty big, and that's the one that has the, the hiking trail right through it. So I don't like that. And then number seven is the end. Uh, it's up Blue Mountain. I'll go up it and end this video there. So this is a big field. A 
thought I lost it on there. This is a uh, this is like a turnaround because if somebody's camping up there, you would have to turn around here. And that sign says uh, it's got a map of the wilderness, George Aiken Wilderness, and it says there is no trail markers. Be sure to have a map and a compass. So this is the seventh one in the end. You can drive up this little road over there, or you can go up this mountain. Okay, we'll get out here. I'm going to show this one again so I don't have to add it in. That's the road. Comes up. I don't know if you can see, but it's a bigger inc incline with rocks. And this is tremendous. Has a fire ring here. And it has. This is the road. Like to the right, if you wanted to not come up that rocky thing, like if you had a camper or a car, you would come up this road. And then there's a road going back there. Don't know where it goes, and I'm not going to check it out. So that's it. This is pretty good. George Aiken campsites in the Green Green Mountain National Forest. Okay. Should have went around that big rock, but oh well. <laughs> okay, so there's the road, and it's uh it's pretty well uh, gravel, a little bumpy, a few holes. This is kind of a turnaround. This is where you would turn around if somebody was camping up there. And there's a little little map of the George Aikens Wilderness, and it says there's no no designated trails, so make sure you have a compass and a map, it says on the sign. So I'm going to go to the first one on the left, and I'm going to do a, a review video there of something I have, and then I'll continue this video going out. And this is one lane. <laughs> uh, hopefully, if somebody's coming the other way, <laughs> I don't know. Never had it happen yet. So it should be right up here. I had, I know I did a drive through of about, about, 10 miles up the road on Route 9, there's another, the Somerset Airfield. I've done a drive through of that in real time, which was, I don't know, I think it's seven miles in. Okay, I'm going to back into this one, this one here, and I'll show you this one. something new since I've been here about these campsite markers. Let me shut it off so we don't get noise from my noisy engine. Okay. I'll show you. That marker that I showed you opening the video there is they're not numbered or anything but they do have these now on each campsite which is kind of nice so you know it is a campsite. And this one First time I came here, I was going to camp here, but then I noticed there's a trail. It goes right through the campsite, so I don't want to be <laughs> camping <laughs> where there's a trail going through. Another fire pit with big boulders. A little fire pit. A lot of wood. Some nice wood. And this trail, I don't know. I might have to try a hike here one day. 
Wow. Yeah, I think there's a stream. Oh, there's another fire pit. Wow. <laughs> so there's three fire pits here. Let me see it here. Mm. I think it's a trail. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so that was the second. We had the one on the end, and then this first one on the left. And then I think there's three on the right, and one on the left, which is never nice. It's always muddy, the first one. Well, the way we're going towards the road is the last one on the left. As I said, there's one other van here. It's, today is Tuesday. It's Tuesday morning, almost lunchtime. So anybody that's here, that van might be leaving too. But National Forest, you, there's no check in, check out. You just stay, stay for 14 days if you like. And as you can see, they're spaced apart. Okay, here's the other one. I think this might be the one that I'm going to do my video at. Hopefully I won't. Knock over the new sign. Okay, quick look at this one. We have a lot of small planes. There must be a little airport around here. So, there's the road. There's the sign. That's where we came from. I don't know if this is one I stayed. No, this is big. I never stayed in this one. This one's tremendous too. I wouldn't camp when I'm camping myself, I wouldn't take up a big spot like this. Look at this. And like I said, there's nothing, just a fire ring, and that's it. When I stayed, I kind of had a bench made out of logs, but that's it. This is tremendous. And then there's a drop-off way. Really, I don't know, that'd be kind of crazy to go down that hill, especially with the wet leaves. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, so that was, I think, number three. I think that was the third one. The one in the back, one on the left, that one on the right. Sorry about the beat. Okay. There's the other one, on the right. I think this one is one I camped at. Ran something over. Okay, road, sign, and this one here. I camped here a few times, but only in two different spots, and this was one. This was one, and the one that the van is in is yellow, so this is number four. All right, look at these. Well, this thing, they're burning here. And actually, I see a lot of trees cut down. I hope people ain't cutting trees down here. 
There's one cut, another one cut, another one cut. There's two more cut over there. Actually, that was uh, pretty short as the way I did the review on the refrigerator and I had it on this rock here. But that's it. And this one is, you can't go down. You can't go down and walk around. And I think on the other side is the stream. So this is long. It's long and narrow. I have my tent over here, back there. Nice flat spot for the tent. And uh, I think there's a stream coming through. Yeah, I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it. Okay. So this is number four. And we'll continue. I'll just point at the, the fifth one's going to have the van in it. And then on the left, the sixth one, I might go in if it's not muddy, but I don't like, that's my least, least favorite. But there maybe is another one. Maybe I forgot, but I think that's it. So we'll get back to it. Okay. Maybe number four. The one number five, I think that's the one where the, there was a van. So I'll try to take a peek at it. But if the van's gone, we're going to go on that one. Okay, maybe this is it. See, those two are close. Not close, close, but it's over there. Yeah, there might be one more. I don't know. Show real quick just because I want to go up and see if there's another one. Okay, so this is kind of wide. I think there must be another one because this doesn't look like the one I stayed. Fire pit, nice and round. Let's go see if there's another one. And that's what I think it is. There is another one because I, I was remembering six without that last one. So maybe there is one more. That's where the van is. Oh yeah, here's where the van is. Okay, so that was, okay. So that's the fifth one. It's like a little muddy. So that's probably goes to the trail. Now I'm pretty sure there's only the one on the, on the left hand side, which would be on the right. When you come in from the road, it's on the right, right hand side, it's the first one, and it's usually always muddy. It's a little shaky, I'm sorry, because I'm hand holding my uh, Osmo, my DJI Osmo. This way I can get in and out and not take it off. So, I know it stabilizes pretty good, so it shouldn't be too bad. What I'm going to do is pull into that spot if I can, and then go to the entrance to show the entrance. I actually might put that in the beginning. <laughs> These two sides go right off, no shoulder at all. I would hate for somebody to come. Here it is here. This one's always muddy. Let's take a look. <clears throat> There's the sign. Thread lightly. Road. You 
can see. Look at this mud. This is bad. Look, look at this. I don't know if you can see it with the light. It's how it tracks all the way down. Let me look from the other angle here. Uh, really bad. Okay, so if you can pass the mud, up here is not bad. Fire rain. Clean. All the sites are very clean now. And this looks like that trail. And that's pretty good. Okay, let's go to the entrance. And I'll end it there and start it there. <laughs> On this side, that side's muddy. Big rock. Mud. Oh man. Okay, just to wrap it up, uh, it was one and a half miles, the total. The total, it was one mile into the number five uh, campsite. So that's it. Beautiful place, free. Nothing to, there's no, nothing here. There's no pit toilets, no porta potties. There's no picnic tables. There's only fire rings. So you need to bring everything here and pack in and pack out.